good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told I was out of voice for radio, so today, we're going to be looking at Waylord. I adore Waylord, ladies and gentlemen, and I am always looking for any excuse to play Waylord. I am always looking for an excuse to make Waylord work, and you know what? The lovely Landon Dastrup over on the Patreon, patreon.com slash ptcgradio, has suggested a way that we can make Waylord work. But here's the interesting thing. As an attacker, not as just a wall Pokemon. You see, we got a new Waylord in Celestial Storm. And this Waylord in Celestial Storm has a frankly redonkulous 220 HP. It is by any way, shape, or form a huge Pokemon. It is the biggest non-GX we have at the moment. So clearly you can make a stool deck from it, and that's cute and adorable and blah, blah, blah. But what really what I want to do here is attack with Waylord. 200 damage is phenomenal. But you've got to remove 40 damage for every damage counter on this Pokemon. That makes it a bit more awkward. That is a shame. That I, I, I don't like this. I No. No! But maybe we can make this work. So my goal is to make a deck where we can make Waylord attack. And I think we finally have the cards to do it. And stop me if you've heard this one before. Naganadal. I think the Naganadal from Lost Thunder is one of the best cards we've had in a long time. And partly it's just a phenomenal card. And partly, it opens up new deck building opportunities that we just haven't had. What it does, its ability, if you don't know by now, and you should, but if you don't, you get to once per turn attach a basic energy from your discard to this Pokemon. Well, that sounds pretty nice. How do we get the energy, though, from Naganadal onto Waylord? Well, great news, we just got Quagsire in Dragon Majesty. And that says, as often as you like, during your turn, you may move a water energy from one of your bench Pokemon to your active Pokemon. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is essentially the method by which we get Waylord rolling here. You use Naganadal to accelerate energy, and you use Quagsire to move it to an active Waylord. Now, this is going to take a little bit of setup here, because you need really free Naganadal on the bench. And if you've got free Naganadal on the bench, then what you can do is attach free energy during your turn, and then you can move them up to Waylord, and then you're off and rolling. Oh, you need a fourth energy, but of course you can attach one from your hand. And the thing is, if you can get Waylord attacking, it is a phenomenal attacker. 200 damage is straight away enough damage to KO a Rayquaza. Or a Tapu Bulu. Or a Buzzwole. Or a Lycan Rock. And if you want to do extra damage, well, first of all, Choice Band puts you up to 230, which will put you over the edge with Zoroark. But it will also mean that you can do a whole bunch of damage and get a KO on something like a Gardevoir, for instance. But let's not forget that Shrine of Punishment is a thing here. Shrine of Punishment puts one damage counter on each EX and GX Pokemon between turns. One after your turn, one after their turn, one after your turn, one after their turn, and so on and so forth. And this is what's crucial here. Because actually, this is not going to be a turn to Waylord for 200 experience. No, that's not going to happen. But it doesn't need to be. Because there are several advantages you've got here. Really, if you can attack with Waylord three times, you should win the game. But the thing is, you don't need to do this all in one go. If you're against a GX heavy deck, you can rely on Shrine of Punishment and just sit and chill. And just sit here having your opponent take damage with Shrine of Punishment before you're ready. There's not a huge amount of stuff that's going to one-hit KO a Waylord. You got 220 HP. Even if they do, you're only taking one prize. But let's take something like a Buzzwall GX. Let's say, for argument's sake, they use Knuckle Impact with a Diancy Prism Star. Yeah, that's only 180. They're not getting a one hit KO. Let's say they've taken a prize. Absorption GX, after they've taken a prize, with a Diancy Prism Star, will just get a KO on a Waylord. 
This is what we're working with here, ladies and gentlemen. So you can probably take a hit or two before you even have to worry about healing Waylord. And then, of course, healing Waylord is easy. We've got Max Potion, which heals, but you've got to discard all the energy. And we've got Ace Roller, which picks up Waylord. Now, if you pick up Waylord, you need a Waylord on the bench so you can immediately re-evolve. But Max Potion's not an issue here. You discard all of the energy, well, that's fine. Naga Nadal will get the energy back. And this essentially gives you a two-tier strategy. Tier number one, you stall with Waylord. But you don't worry about stuff like Crushing Hammer. You just whack a forbidden shrine out, have your Waylord, and basically sit there laughing at your opponent in a friendly, jovial manner. Let's not be rude to people. Going, ha, 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 you can't KO me in your face. And you bide your time. And then when you've got your Naganadal set up, you can move the energy over with Quagsire and your rolling. But if you've got two Naganadal, then both of them get an energy one turn, both of them get an energy the next turn, and then you move all four over. Because remember, Quagsire gets your energy onto Waylord as soon as you want. So I think we can get this rolling here with two Naganadal and one Quagsire. That's still a a fair amount of effort here but it's doable and remember you're not just limited to naganadal you're a water pokemon you can use aqua patch you play four aqua patch and that gives you four extra attachments during the game and if you've been paying attention to whale's attack cost here that is essentially one extra attack during the game just from aqua patch the reality is even if you aren't going to get KO'd. When you're in the attacking phase, the second your opponent attacks, you're essentially not an attacker anymore. If they do five damage, you're hitting for zero damage. That's not good. That's not going to win you the game. But there's nothing to stop you taking a big KO. Your opponent hits you. Eh, not ready yet. I'm just going to stall for a turn. But let's not forget, the energy doesn't have to come from Naganadal. Might I introduce you to a lovely little card called Escape Probe, or even Guzma? Because you see, if we rely on having three or four Naganadal out, this deck will never work. But Waylord is unlikely to be one hit KO'd. So what you do is you have a Waylord in the active hitting for 200 damage and at least a Waylmer on the bench. If your opponent doesn't KO you, you ain't going to be retreating Waylord. Waylord's retreat cost is 4. You can retreat, but you lose all the energy, which kind of defeats the point. So you play an escape rope, and then your opponent has to switch their active, which is kind of funny. Or a Guzma to try and tackle down your opponent's bench Pokemon. And then you can use Quagsire to move the energy onto Waylord. The new Waylord. And then you can play a Max Potion or an Ace Roller to heal the bench Waylord and you're up and rolling. And this is how I see Waylord. You play it with Shrine of Punishment. And look, if your opponent hits you for two damage, then you're hitting 120. That's still all right. And you might get a few of those attacks per game. But really here, you stall while you spread with Shrine of Punishment. And you get a couple of Naga Nadal on the bench. And then you move it over with Quagsire. And then you get a couple of extra Aqua Patch at some point and you move them over. And then when one of your Waylords about to get KO'd, or hit really, because once they're hit they're not doing much. You play an Escape Rope or a Guzma and move it back over with Quagsire. And now we're rolling. And look, if it's near the end of the game and your opponent's got few resources left, you can just play the stalling game. That's fine. But we have options for attacking. It's not just, I'm going to try and set up four Naganadal and a Quagsire. No, that's unrealistic. But two Naganadal getting an energy each per turn, which means they get a Waylord every other turn. Combined with Aqua Patch, combined with essentially hit with Waylord, don't get KO'd, play an escape rope, new Waylord. And then you only need two, three Waylord a game that are powered by Naganadal. So all of a sudden, you can work with two, maybe even one Naganadal. We all know that Waylord is a good blocker. But I think when you combine your Naganadal and your Quagsire, 
with your max potion and your ace roller, and using stuff like a scape rope, you can legitimately have a Waylord deck where as long as your opponent can't one hit KO and doing 220 to a non GX, i.e., no choice ban, no shrine of punishment, is actually kind of difficult for the majority of decks, then you're hitting for 200 most turns. And this, you need to essentially be undamaged, isn't an issue, because you can use Ace Roller, you can use Max Potion, and you can switch to a benched Waylord. As a side note here, this deck needs Palpad. Maybe Lusamine, but really Palpad, because yes, 4 Ace Roller is good, but you know what's better than 4 Ace Roller? 8 Ace Roller, 10 Ace Roller, that's where Palpad comes in. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited to try this deck out. I don't know that it will be successful, but I think this is the best chance we have had in years to actually have an attacking Waylord deck. And I don't know about you, but that makes me legitimately excited. But I want to hear from you guys, so let me know in the comment section. Go nuts, but do please remember the rule. Be nice, and then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all of that, head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio, where you can do exactly that. And do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash plays, where we talk video games, Transformers, Dragon Ball, Keyforge, it's a lot of fun. But by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.